Breaking the Wall of Autism Research. Taniko Diodatu, Falling Walls Lab, Namibia. Autism Spectrum Disorder is a developmental disorder that severely impacts children's ability to navigate the social world. It impacts roughly 1% of the world's population. That's an estimated 10 million sub-Saharan Africans and 25,000 Namibians, many of whom children and adolescents. Now, scientific research is necessary in order to understand and support these individuals. But what happens when science turns a blind eye? You see, only 1% <clears throat> of psychological research conducted is conducted in Africa. And of that 1%, majority focus on communicable diseases such as HIV and malaria. While this is important, a scientific understanding of autism from an African perspective remains patchy. Additionally, there are now over 200 million children within the survival category suffering from one or more developmental delays or disabilities. And unfortunately, the lack of scientific interest results in delays towards raising public awareness, influencing policymakers, resistance from funding agencies, and the implementation of treatments that are not appropriate for the African context. Now, one influential theory posits that social impediments in children with autism stems from a lack of social motivation for interaction. And if you have a look at an MRI scan depicting the part of the brain that makes social interaction feel rewarding, you can clearly see that the nerve fiber tracts are less dense in children with autism in comparison to their typical peers. I'm sure you're all well aware of how important social interaction is for childhood development. From early infancy onwards, being motivated and interested in what other people are doing, that is what pushes us to learn and engage with them. So a child with diminished social motivation is bound to fall behind. Together with the Max Planck Institute, I plan on conducting the first ever international study of autism in Namibia. We want to test the generalizability of the social motivation theory of autism by assessing social motivation in children with autism in comparison to their typical peers. The findings of this study can change the way that my country views and treats autism. And the education sector may begin to place an emphasis on improving social motivation in order to solve social impediments. Ladies and gentlemen, I urge you to help me put the puzzle pieces together in Namibia and break the wall of autism. Thank you.